And now, on to where the magic happens. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, I'm Jess, this is little Lexi, and this is my husband, Justin. Hey. We just arrived in Silver Falls State Park in Central Oregon. It's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest, so we thought it would be a good time to show you our trailer. But first, I think we should probably make it a little bit more comfortable in there. Let's do it. Okay, let's grab our stuff. and explored the Western United States for over half of the year in this trailer. We've learned to love her so much. Her name is Ricky Smalls. And uh, wow, we've just had such, so many amazing memories and experiences here. And it's really shown me that you can have a really comfortable and amazing living experience with a really small footprint. So Justin and I have always loved to travel. Uh, we traveled a ton internationally. And when the COVID-19 pandemic kind of slowed our travel schedule down, we got really interested in the idea of getting some kind of RV. We kind of dove into YouTube and blogs and looked at a ton of different resources and wound up finding about the Alto, what we're sitting in right now. I think we loved it for a variety of reasons, but one of the most compelling was the huge, beautiful windows, which you can see right here, uh, that kind of make you feel like you're sitting in a treehouse uh, and make you feel like you're outside even when you're not. Um, another really awesome benefit is how small it is. This trailer is really neat because when it's fully collapsed, I think it stands about 83 inches tall, which allows it to fit into most United States garages. So that's great for individuals who maybe don't have a lot of space, they're not allowed to park in their driveway, uh, or they don't want to pay for extra storage. You can just put it in your garage and then when you take it out and expand the roof, you've got something that's almost seven feet tall on the inside, which gives me plenty of space to walk around without bumping my head. This is our dining table. Uh, so we do everything here from our work to cutting veggies to eating. Uh, one of my favorite things is that it's on a lagoon mount, which means that you can pull it out and do various configurations with it. So you can take it off the table and uh, it goes down. It will span the gap between these two seats and you'll put these cushions on top of it and it'll convert into a single bed. If you get the air conditioner option, it'll be under this seat right here. Um, and then this, bench over here actually has other storage, which you can access from the outside. Now let's get to my favorite part, the kitchen. There is a Dometic two burner stove. Um, when it's closed, it has tempered glass on top of it. So it's extra counter space, which you can see is a little bit limited given the space of the trailer, uh, but two burners got a little bagel schmutz in there. Uh, up here is a spice rack. Um, so we use it for to hold spices as well as the top kind of rack we use to uh, hold various electronics, wires, things like that. So this is our Dometic fridge. It works on both propane and electricity. Uh, that's really awesome because Justin and I usually do boondocking, which means we don't have electrical hookup. So the fact that this can run on propane is absolutely perfect for our camping style. Uh, we have all the essentials in here. We got some vegan marshmallows, beer, one of the really cool things is that there's a freezer that works really, really well. So we also have a sink, which is covered in tempered glass. Again, giving you extra counter space. Uh, it flips up. You got your little faucet in here. Flip it down. Uh, this is an add-on option, a microwave. We wind up using this all the time. Um, it takes a lot of electricity, but in the height of the summertime, when you get awesome solar, which we'll talk about later, uh, you can use the microwave really as much as you need. Uh, moving on, this is kind of your main kitchen storage compartment. Uh, there's a total of four shelves. Um, show you, this is our utensil drawer and just kind of various accoutrements in there. So let's move on to the commode. This is our bathroom. 
This trailer actually has two different models. One has a shower and one doesn't. Uh, the one that we have actually has a shower. And one of the main reasons that we wanted to get it is because it has a door that fully opens and closes when you're using the toilet. The other one does not. Uh, so as you can see, there's a you know regular flush toilet here. Um, there's also a shower, which we hook up on this little hook rack right here. And this shower curtain then hooks all the way around so it's functionally a wet bath. In addition to the shower and toilet, there's also four different racks of storage here where we keep things like toothpaste and contact solution. So let's move on to where the magic happens, where we watch Netflix. Uh, if you'll follow me back here, there is a wraparound couch under where Miss Lexi and Mr. Ira are sitting is storage. There's also additional storage under here. And in just a few seconds, this can actually convert into a full king size bed with putting this cushion and this cushion and this gap. Um, additionally, we have the memory foam upgrade. I have some of the best sleep of my life in here. It's super, super comfy. Uh, but if you have back problems or generally kind of particular about what mattress you have, you might have to get a mattress topper. You wanna show them the electronics? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> can you hold this? <laughs> Uh, so here's our climate control. Um, this controls our air conditioner. We actually don't use the AC a lot because we boondock, which just means uh, we create all of our own power off grid, either through solar up on the roof um, or through propane. Um, but if you are in a campsite like this one that has electrical hookups, you can use it. We're just not using it right now because it's pretty cold outside. Um, this is our propane heater. Uh, so this controls uh, not only uh, hot air, but hot water. So it's all in one. It's a really neat appliance and we love it. Here's our control for our fan that's up on the roof. Uh, it just does ventilation for cooking and sleeping. And then we've also got our solar charge controller, uh, which just does all the, the smart stuff handling the solar energy that's coming through our panels up on the roof. We've got our tank monitor. So we've got three tanks in the Alto. Uh, we've got our freshwater tank, which holds all of our, well, fresh water, uh, gray water, which is everything that goes through the sink, and black water, which is everything that goes through the toilet. Hey, you wanna do a quick once around the trailer? Yeah, let's do it. So we wanted to show you a few things about the outside of our very dirty trailer. One of our favorite features are these caravan movers. These big motors that engage with the tires on either side of the trailer. And we have a remote control and you can actually steer the trailer around, which is really nice when you get into tight camp spots uh, that you otherwise might not be able to fit in. We've got a couple solar panels up on the roof. They're flat, they're almost like stickers. Um, and we use those to get the majority of our energy while we're um, out camping and boondocking. This is where our power comes in. We've got some water inlets over here. This is an outdoor shower, which we love to use on hot days or if we're really dirty after we come back from like a hot spring and we don't want to track our dirt inside. This is our basement. It's just some outdoor storage. Uh, it's also accessible from the inside. On the tongue, we've got our uh, battery and then two propane tanks. Actually, I think our original order only had one propane tank and I'm super glad that we have two because now one can be totally empty and then we can be out and about and get it refilled at our convenience while the other one is uh, powering uh, all of our gas appliances. So we know that was a pretty quick tour and honestly, if we told you about all of the different features, it could take hours and hours. There's so many different features in this trailer. For sure, yeah. If you wanna see anything in more detail, uh, please let us know in the comments and maybe we'll make a video about it. But for now, thanks for coming to our tour. Thanks. And in the over the. Yeah. Can do it again? Yeah. Go for it. The lighting looks really good on you. And now, on to where the magic happens. <laughs> Sorry. Explore. Nope.
That was like really creepy with the side of my face too. I, I just burped. Okay, no. <coughs> <laughs> this is hard. Should we ask them to smash the like and subscribe buttons? <laughs> Good job. Can we eat? Yeah. Okay.